welcome back guys so in this video let's take a look at lineage os 18.1 which we flashed in the last video and see what it all has to offer so if you haven't watched that make sure you go ahead and check that out check that out first and to know how to unlock the bootloader of the moto g 5g and also flash the rom so this rom is based on android 11 and our stock rom is still based on android 10 so uh, it's a it's a good experience uh, upgrading finally to Android 11 and I'll show you what are all the features and what are some minor bugs that I've faced so let's begin so first if I go to the above section and show you the uh, the security patch so it's on May 5th uh, security patch and this is the Android 11 And also the Lineage OS. This is the Lineage OS. The logo looks like the Android Pie. That is that. And uh, you can see that it says my model name is Pixel 5. So I have so to enable in order to pass the safety net. So I flashed Magisk as well. And even though if you do not uh, like flash the Magisk manager. Uh, you still won't be able to use the banking apps so you need to flash magisk and then install this uh, module the pixel 5 prop it actually mimics uh, pixel 5 and makes your device look like uh, all the apps believes that your device is pixel 5 but that alone is not enough you also need to you also need to enable the magisk hide if you go into settings you need to enable this magisk hide here. and and then if you go in the uh, this is shield icon so this is the magisk hide and you need to enable it for the apps that are uh, detecting the device as a rooted like the google play and for me this app so you have to tick all those apps that detects your device to be root rooted so you need the fingerprint the pixel fingerprint and also the magisk hide to be enabled so let's go ahead so you can see the Wi-Fi is working also Bluetooth is working mobile data is also there is no issue regarding calling and network so let me sh show you I call in this number um, you can see it's connecting through Wi-Fi call so Wi-Fi calling also working but there is an issue that the f and uh, it doesn't happen when you are plugged in the earphone and uh, when you call someone if I let's say I call so when you call someone so there is no ringing sound that comes uh, while the other party's uh, phone is ringing so there is no feedback there so you won't know if the call is, the call is going through or not so to fix that to have to press the speaker button and then it works fine so that's not a big issue for now and the developer has said it's very easier to fix so it's going to be fixed in the upcoming update so now let's go to the other check out the other options so usb right now i'm connected my mic so it shows connected device You have the priority notifications now you can uh, enable the priority in the android 11 so it will show your uh, icon the contact icon or group icon so it won't show it like just another notification but it will show you the icon and the the, uh, the profile picture of the contact itself here is the uh, the digital well-being so it's now here in the apps notification it shows how much screen time that I've used consumed today okay it once one more thing uh, there is the permission manager so you can uh, easily uh, allow or uh, decline the permissions to various apps the so 11 was more uh, for the privacy uh, it had more privacy features like if I show you this privacy it will show you 
in a graph that which app has used the phone location contacts and call logs so in phone app this much apps has used uh, has most recent access to the uh, the phone and you can all see and you can all you can see it all here so the phone app and which app has which look uh, which access you can see it right from here it's very it's more like android 10 but if i show you the battery so it doesn't show the battery graph for now and you can see the graph is a bit uh, here and there so, but i have a screenshot that i'm going to show you uh, if i go to the screenshots so this is the 18 it shows that um, i've last charged my device 18 hours ago it's so screen on time to be above 10 hours so i think it's doing pretty well so i don't think you have you will have an issue in the battery department so this is storage so it's, it's clean wiped so still very much empty so in security fingerprint is also working i'll show you i'll just uh, tap on a finger and it unlocks so it shows this option because i've already actually set up my work profile so you have two profiles at once make a separate video about that if you want to know so you can see all encryption is also working so it says encrypted here and uh, what else you have your accessibility settings you can remove animations directly from here so your phone just responses more quicker you have digital well-being it shows you in a graphical it, also, it was also available like I showed you in that apps and notification uh, settings as well then we have the set system settings and here is there is a bit more features in compared to the stock ROM so in buttons you can have a inward layout edge long swipe so if I just keep on hold on this here are some results from the web see it was actually uh, listening the assistant was actually listening to so let me change it to something else like uh, launch camera right if I just hold on to it, it should launch the camera okay so this is what uh, this is what the edge long swipe does you will go to the power menu you have these options if you if i long press it you can see this is the redesigned new power menu of android 11 this is the same icon that they are using now in the android 12 as well and uh, you can see it will show your uh, smart uh your smart connection here So long press the power button to enable torch so you have to do this while your screen is locked when you long press the torch uh, the power button your torch should be enabled the flashlight and to disable it you have to again long press it while the screen is locked so it will disable the torch as well so let's see the status bar options now and here you have the option to enable the network meter on the status bar but it shows in the middle and it's obstructed by the camera so it's not even readable so you keep it disabled battery style battery percentage slider so you can show you button slider all the time you don't have to double swipe and yeah now if you go to the gestures you have the system gestures option it also had the two button options like the android pie so if you like that you can have this i just keep the gesture navigation enabled
can also turn off the navigation bar, uh, gesture bar completely so it's you get more of the screen real estate and also in these gestures options you have the option to uh, have your advanced restart so if I long press if I power button you can see it will show me the advanced options to recovery bootloader and fast boot also if, you, if I take a screenshot there is an edit option using markup or if I long press the screenshot I can take a small snippet and also if you want to show your device controls so right now it's showing the device control if I turn this off it will just show the power menu And you have used the settings in the developer options. I'm not sure if it has uh, OT updates. The, uh, the developer is also uh, kind of uh, integrated the motor gestures as well so your chop chop is still there and you also have double tap to turn on the display so I really like that personally I use it a lot so I haven't show you the display if you go here in the live display you have this plenty options to calibrate your RGB color also your saturations contrast so that's really good but you usually use this color option to boost it saturated or natural according to your liking like we used in the uh, in the Motorola in the stock ROM as well you can also have this uh, ambient gesture so when you use your hand you will have this and have this ambient uh, display similar like the motor display because we don't have motor display here so this works as a replacement for that so yeah I think that's about the features that uh, like lineage OS is not very feature heavy but all of the necessary features are there and till now I haven't faced any lag issue or something and even the Motorola stock rom is uh, stock this is also a stock so there are not much difference uh, the only difference is this android 11 and has very less bloatware um, one con i would say is the sound quality the sound level if i search of a song the sound level is not that much uh, Uh, previously I have to play the uh, any song at a half level for these ads uh, but now I have to completely so you see if I'm putting it at 50% you cannot you cannot listen to much I have to like completely keep it at full So you have to use it at about 90 to 100% volume to actually hear uh, the audio. So that's one of the uh, kind of a, a downgrade I have seen compared to stock. Thus the volume level is kind of low right now. Other than that I haven't seen anything uh, that is of a major concern. You also have these uh, grid options, more grid options, and some simple clock options. So if I create a new theme, it 
has more icons and uh, more colors lot more colors also a lot of shapes as well so there's that and mainly i like this gesture options it's very the recent is much bigger and it's very easy there is a screenshot option so there is easy, very easy to just take a screenshot and it feels much better than android 10 it's very easy to use this is the trebujet uh, launcher the default of the um, lineage os so you have this you can also hide apps if you want can just hide and lock apps from here so that is really great and these are very simple options but they are very useful so yeah the battery backup is great the performance is great and it looks great as well so i definitely recommend you try this and uh, if you are uh, planning to unlock your bootloader and flash a rom and this is the only rom we have right now and it's not bad at all not at all so definitely give it a try and uh, I'll make more videos about it, about any other ROMs that will come out as well. And I'll do some testing and maybe post uh, some more tips and tricks if I found, uh, if I find any. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.